tries I've got left. Two. Oh, no. Oh, no. You must come with me. Happy. Es su esposo. Está jubilado. ¿Qué pasó? Yo sé. I thought you went away. Pat, how many 
children we're going to have? I need mean, your breakfast. I think we should have many. Many what? Children. We sure got room enough for them here. Oh, I think we can work that out. <laughs> Real easy. Do you think I could be one of your stops on the way to the office? Oh, I should say so. Yeah. 
You're great. Amico, how could you let him do this? He had nothing to say about it. You know what the doctor told us? See about that. Hey, Willie, give me that. Willie, give me that. I'm going back to hell. I can't run. Get out of here. I want to stand on the ship.
Es el único remedio. Cuando ella duerma y despierta y se sienta eterna, ella morirá. to recognize me. I want him to think I'm Benito. Yesterday. That's all right, Mom. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got something for you. Mr. Lester has something. 
before you. Just saying, Karen, he was just a sweet. Sweeter. An orange. Here you go. What's an orange, Mama? Well, it's a piece of fruit. Look, Pat, an orange. Go have your papa cut it for you. Bring it here, honey. I'll cut it. Yeah. Oh, boy, that little juicy tribe. <laughs> Will you? Thank you. You like it, honey? Mmm, good. Mm, it's sweet, isn't it? Where'd it come from, Mr. Lester? Did you get it in California? No, ma'am. It's uh, 150 miles from here in the valley. Oh, well, what valley is that? Rio Grande, my home. It's where the river runs into the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, it sounds beautiful. It must be green. Say, Bill, how long you plan on staying? Sorry with you, about a week. Well, you can stay as long as you want to. Mind you, I'm going to earn my key. I'll fix myself the place to sleep out in the corral. Oh, no, I wouldn't think of it. I've got a folding bed right there. You can sleep in the corner. Oh, man. Well, Willie, that's what you forgot to do, was build a bunkhouse for our guests. Me? <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Bill can go outside when we get into bed. Which, by the way, is a hell of an idea. It's getting late. Let's go to bed. Come on. Bedtime. close to Mexico? <laughs> We've been hearing about trouble down around the border. Uh, We've been hearing a lot about Pancho Villa. Once we finally own this land, we want to make a fresh start. <laughs> we can't afford any mistakes. Now, most people in the valley make a fresh start from somewhere. You ought to see it. Now, they're pumping water right up from the Rio Grande, giving the whole land a drink. I mean, you stand still too long in one spot, Miss Weston, you start growing yourself. Not really, folks are pouring in there from everywhere. It's like flies on molasses. They worry about Pancho Villa. <laughs>
Ms. Westall? Mr. Westall? Mr. Westall, calm yourself. Sit down. Nothing's wrong. I'll be right back. Who are they, Mama?
Wake up, darling. Mama's gonna take you swimming. Willie, don't tease a child. <laughs> I ain't teasing, Pat.
Uncle Bill's here, Mama. I see. Good to see you. We finally made it. Yeah, you better keep an eye on Amara here. I think she likes to tell stories. Amara? What do you mean? Sure it'll look to me like you come through any sandstorm, Miss Weston. Right now I feel just as lost as I did in that sandstorm. Starting over. New friends. New times. Don't you worry, Nan. I'll give you all the help you need. And I knew I found her. She was my best hombre. Ain't much of a worker, but he's always on your job. My name. Yeah, howdy. Well, let's get moving on, Bill. Where are you headed, Mr. Westall? Well, we're kind of anxious to get on the mission. Hold on, man. You're right in the middle of it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Abby is crazy. He was just putting up the railroad depot. <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh, you see what you're looking at right down there? It's Main Street. Of course, we got to clear out some of that brush, Bill. I ain't never seen no Main Street without a saloon. Hey, Peppy, you know anything about building a store? No, senor. Good. Let's get started. <laughs> What's up? Each other great and small. We did. Cautiva y hermosa, le di el corazón. And I knew forever and ever how green my valley and my valley. We have to build on this part of the country, Mr. Westall. This store will be done in no time. Hey, Pepe, what do you think? Will we be done? Are you sure? How about a little como yes? Come on down to the store. It's almost finished.
You know very well how it went. You really shouldn't have done it. We owe you so much already. Uh, you don't owe me nothing. Last time I held you like this, I thought you were a boy. You're no boy. Remember?
sit down. You might as well know it by now. Peppy and me are real close to Pancho Villa. Villa hates America. Yeah, now he does. Why, Bill? Why not? Put yourself in his place. Ever since I know Pancho, he's been fighting the revolution with Madero. All the time they loved us, because we fought ours and won. So Madero gets himself killed. Who is Wilson recognizes the first chief of Mexico? Villa? Mm -mm. Carranza. A rich hacienda owner. Dog that saw his own mother. That's what Wilson did. How could he make a mistake like that? Because... Because everybody on this side of the border thinks that Pancho is a bandit. Bandito. I know him. See. Si. When he was a muchacho, he saw the soldiers hang his father for nothing. See, that's what counts. The people love him. Everywhere he's gone, he's fought for him, and he's won. So they love him. That's how come Pepe and you're with him. What do you mean? We're getting guns. Wait a minute. You're smuggling guns to Panto Villa? You thank me for some. But right now I could use your help. I could really use your help. Just use your storeroom once in a while or something. Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have some guns around here. Especially if it stopped the raids. I just got to finish building this town. Tonight, are you, Bill? Drops it. Nobody's gonna believe you're hauling hay in a storm. Really? You know what we're doing. Hi, everybody. Hi, Pat. How y'all doing? It's a party here, huh? I wonder who you helped. Supposed to me. It's 
supposed to be, maybe you two be real happy if this crap was. There's something you want in there. I'm walking a good back and see. to meet Pancho Villa, huh? Hell, he ain't got nothing against cripples. <laughs> Amigo! These are beautiful. I said, that guy man in the wagon over there, his name's Westall. Like I told Colonel Vicari, he's one of us now. <laughs> When's the general coming back? Soon, I hope. Hey, well, when he does, tell him I'd like him to meet Pat Westall. your wife some good things about Miss Westall. My people don't like all Americanos, but they like her. Willie's, uh, Willie's real easy to like. <laughs> hey, don't eat too fast. His name is Seymour. He's from your side. He meets with those pigs about three times a month. Yeah, I've seen him before. What's his business? Well, they say he's got a truck farm. What's he doing with the current system? <laughs> I don't know. With current sisters, it can't be good. I'll just finish your breakfast. I'm gonna tell them boys, see what they're up to. Now hold on just a second. I'm going with you, Bill. I mean, that's what I'm here for. Baby, can I use your horse? Sure. Well, I'll wait. Play cards with Emilio. Who knows, when you get back, maybe I win this place. <laughs> you don't have to play cards to win this place. I give it to you. <laughs> Because of a few raids on their border towns. It all depends on the raids. 
Der Mann versteht mich nicht. Wir müssen mit höherer Offizier reden. What if I were to tell you that it's also Germany's plans to raid New Orleans by water? <laughs> you mean to tell me anyone is going to believe that Pancho Villa has a navy? That they're so poor now, I hear they're riding two on a horse. <laughs> es hat keinen Wert mit ihm. Wir müssen mit seinem Vorgesetz sprechen. Sie haben recht, es ist sinnlos, mit diesem Mann zu reden. I see. I have to discuss this with your superiors when we get there. Would you please? Our German friend led us right to the Cannon Sister camp. Watch careful. Cannon Sisters are ditching their uniforms and they're changing into bandit rags so they look like Pancho Villa's men. <sighs> yeah. Seems like they're getting ready for another raid in our border towns and putting the blame on Pancho Villa again. Like I said, it wasn't Villa that raided Don the pump. Take a look. Bill, should that German's coming back this way? Yeah, he'll come back to his horse. You can bet on it. I want him. He's the one who pays the currencies to split these rates. That's his game, amigo. Get us fighting in Mexico, keep us out of Europe. You know, Pat, Pat and me ain't got nobody. You got a wife, a couple kids. Forget it, Bill. Remember you promised I was gonna meet that Pancho Leah. side of the road, shooting at the back seat. Watch your angles. I'll hit him from this side. Pat, you get the driver.
Mr. Allen's place. Take me to see her. I'll bring Mr. Westall home. to replace? You can never replace Bill Lester. General, I'd like it to make you know. I know, Senora. I did it with a store. And I know where you can. There is no store. Mission is burning. You mean, Senora, every day in my country, I see villages burned down, husbands and sons killed. Your war was not my husband's war. Well, muchachos. Fix it down, senora. I did not know your husband. I know Bill Lester when he was younger and Pepe. And even though he's a gringo, my work has always been his war. And now the current sister will probably shoot him. Then you must try to save him. Senora, can you believe I can tell my men that we will attack a current sister camp just to save one Americano? Besides, Zapata's waiting for me in Mexico City. Bill Lester is one of your best soldiers. You need him. And it's not just one Americano. It's all the Americanos who blame you for the raids across the border. You know that it's not so. That's how it'll be written. What written? Not about the great battles, but how you killed women and children. They won't even call you a general. Pancho Villa, the bandit. Mentira! Bacaro, Martin! Bacaro! Los mapas, quiero ver los mapas. ¿Dónde están? A buscar los mapas. Ya me colmaron el plato. Mapa, tu padre. Búsquenme ese desgraciado mapa ahorita. Muy bien, tráemelo para acá. Quiero que me enseñes el campo de los carrancistas, desgraciado Martín. Yo mira el carrancista que han. You are here, right? Si. How long will it take us to get over there? General. They have nearly 200 men. And we? 61, General. It'll be easy. How? Military strategy. Estas todavía están en buenas condiciones, es la última vez que los usamos. ¡Quítame ese uniforme de encima! Los... ¡Y dile a los hombres que se vistan pronto! ¡Vámonos! Sí, mi general. ¡Adiós, muchachos! ¡Apresúrate! ¡Y 
¿Queda bien, mi soldado? Sí, pero me quedan las mangas muy largas. ¿Cómo que le quedan muy largas? Sí. A ver, déjame dar un poco. ¿Qué tal le gusta ahora? Muy bien, muy general. Muy bien. Nos faltaba más. Bien, se miran bien. Oye, la prieta se mira mejor con el uniforme que con el vestido, ¿no? <risa> quieto, quieto. Que se sonríe, mi coronel Bacaro. Estaba pensando, mi general. Ellos se ponen nuestras ropas y nosotros sus uniformes. Sí, pero hay una diferencia. Esta noche, los que se pongan ese uniforme son puros machos de Pancho Vía. Identifique su batallón. Este es el regimiento del general Francisco Vía.
I'm only for you, amigo. Third time, the senora was called. Yeah, yeah. Sargento, atienda los heridos. ¡Pacaro! Mi general. Tráeme los oficiales, carrecita, para el campamento. Sí, mi general. ¿Esto es la manera que le echan la culpa a Pancho Villa, el bandido? Pues yo soy Pancho Villa, el general. Vale, tráigame más. ¿Has manchado mi nombre cruzando para el otro lado, atacando los pueblos, haciendo creer a los americanos que es Pancho Villa? Ese no es mi estilo, ese es el estilo de Carranza. Y para mí Carranza es un coyote. Dilo, Carranza es un coyote. Carranza es un coyote. ¡Más fuerte! Carranza es un coyote. ¿Creen que soy un perro como ustedes? Porque solamente un perro pudo haber hecho lo que ustedes hicieron con esta pobre gente. Yo, Pancho Villa, nunca lo pudiera hacer. Mátenlos. Burn it. Just as me and Pepe were right now. The kids? You're safe as long as Fanny's safe. General, what's Hemos encontrado a Pepe en el otro lado.
Would you bury him with your golden one? It would be an honor, Senora. I'm so worried about you. I'm so sorry. Where's Peppy? Dead. We lose a lot of people. Four or five. Enough to scare them off. What about your place, Henry? We were lucky, thank God. We weren't touched. Mr. Lester? Yeah? Sergeant Williams, sir. My superior officer, Major Buchanan, would like to talk to you. Where is he? We're headquartered inside the depot. You all right? Come on. Sweet the mama. Girls can stay with us as long as you want. You're welcome. Where'd you bury Pat? We buried him down by the river. Sure glad you're back, Miss Westall. Sorry about Pat. Thank you, Mr. Everybody's panicking. You can't change people. Some are scared, and some ain't. I guess you'll be leaving us now, Miss Westall, with Pat gone and, and the store gone. No. I want to build a store again. Tomorrow. I came here to raise my family. You know something, folks? Those readers never bothered our good man Scout. What do you say we do some reading of our own? You come to door. I'll be right there, Fanny. You know, he wants to see me up in San Antonio. Why? They want me to make a report on Bia. So I'm going to go up there and see if I can clear Pancho's name with him. After that, I'm headed back across the Rio. The general's on his way to Torreon. I'm going with him. It's my wedding ring.
I couldn't forget him. Me too. spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Mm -hmm. 